Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Before I actually go in game, I want to show you something really, really weird that uh, someone else discovered. In one of my episodes, uh, this is a screen cap from the episode itself, episode 14, Isidore's Warm Vessel, someone commented saying, that bloodstain looks like Africa. I thought, well, me being horrible at geography, I wasn't actually sure what Africa exactly looked like, but I thought, oh, what a funny coincidence. So I went up and looked up an image of Africa, and guess what? This is Africa. Not like, oh, I could see how you could see it's like Africa. No, I mean, it's Africa. Like, there's zero doubt that whoever made this bloodstain literally modeled it after Africa. Let me demonstrate. This is the screenshot from the episode. <clears throat> I did a perspective warp to make it so that this whole like table is basically flat to the screen like this and then overlaid Africa over it. So that's, this is Africa. Um, here, it probably helps if I move it out a little bit. Look at how closely it follows everything. There's even, um, I think this Madagascar out here, even that is in the blood stain. And like, look at how the curves follow it. Follow it, goes out a little bit, in, 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 out. Like, it even has this this little bump up here. It's kind of being covered up by this it, like surgical implement here, but you can see there's a little like corner popping up there too. This blood stain is Africa. I don't know if that's important in some grand unifying theory of the story of Pathologic, but um, there you go. Back in game, remember we've just followed the bells to here, and all of those helpful pointing little figures showing us where to go, and it looks like a meeting of the minds, like most of the important people in the town are here, I believe they are trying to figure out what to do about the plague that I think they've just realized is happening. <clears throat> well, under these circumstances, any inheritance would be opportune. Big Vlad speaks in such a weird way. They speak so slowly. An epidemic. Um, oh, uh, I think I'm going to start trying to say our name correctly like I've been saying Barak but it's actually pronounced Barach or something like that um, so apparently in the step language any KH is pronounced like that so an epidemic Barach plague and if it's the sand plague that smothered 300 of my workers five years ago then it's serious very serious my boy <clears throat> your father saved us back then but now now I need you at hand. Do I make myself clear? What epidemic? Sand plague. Sand pest, as we called it back then. Lethal. Everyone who got sick died. No survivors. And contagious, Barach. Very much so. How do you know it's the same thing? That's of no concern to you, Brach. Everything important that could be done, I've done already. There will be a fund. There will be a headquarters. Intrigues, sleepless nights. Everyone here thinks they're crucial to defeating the outbreak. But they're scared. Mistaken. What can they tell you? I'm a doctor. I need the full picture. So you have some time on your hands? Then go to each of them. Talk to one, two, three people. Fill your head with minutia. While well, time, time is running out. Your time. Seven empty conversations. You don't need them. I can tell you all you need to know. They're trying to convince me real hard not to speak with anyone else. That's not going to work, buddy. I don't like you. It's 
It's your fault. You should have invited me from the start. Who are you? A hundred years? No. No, too much. Forty? No. Not nearly enough. Victor Kane. Yeah, we haven't met them before, right? We've only met Georgi Kane. The hospital will be set up in the theater. Possible infected will be examined there every day. The disease will be studied and we'll even try curing it. They say there's no cure for the sand pest, but Dr. Denkovsky still has hope. What does that mean for me? It means that the theater is your place now, your real home. Tend to the sick and dissect the dead. Work night and day to find a cure for this accursed plague. I was planning to. <clears throat> but you're Ogimsky's private doctor now, aren't you? I guess he'll object then, or even forbid you to risk your life. I am my father's son. Ogimsky is no one to me. Ooh, what did that do? Ah, oh, added the character. Barley the Barber's leading the gang. <laughs> Some barber. The three ruling families will recruit volunteers to observe order. The dangerous districts will be cordoned off. Entry or exit will not be possible. Any crime against health or property will be punished immediately. What does that mean for me? Uh, you're a doctor, so you have privilege. Unlike others, you're allowed entry and, more importantly, exit from infected areas. We rely on your responsibility. If you discover you're infected, you won't attempt to conceal or spread it. Correct? Yes. Sure. <laughs> no lovers as sweet as the silence of sleep. If it's the same sickness, all measures are pointless. Wishful thinking, delusional actions. For it's clear what we're dealing with. Fire from heaven, the great flood. No one shall be spared, save for the ten righteous men. So what does that mean for me? <laughs> Forget the plague. You can't affect it. Think of yourself, not of the disease. Search your soul. Are you a righteous man, or are you one of the cattle for the slaughter? Whom will it kill, and whom will it spare, and why? This is the curious question which must be answered. By me, doctor. Not you. By me, not by you? They're one of the ones who are clairvoyant, right? I wonder if they're talking about that. Yeah, that much is clear. Oh, we haven't spoken with Katarina before? Who's the other... Um, They must be in this list. Where are they? There's someone else I was thinking of. Oh, Katarina... Sabarova. Oh. <clears throat> They're the the wife of Alexander Sabarov, right? I think they have powers of clairvoyance. I'm not sure. I was thinking of Maria Kana, but they're totally different from totally different families. It's interesting, too. It seems like um, the women have, like, an A added to their family name. Sabarov, Sabarova, and, like, um, I don't know, where's a Kane? Like, Georgi Kane? Maria Kana? Curse the bear for eating the cow. Curse the cow for jumping the fence. This is humiliating. Father purposely charges me with tasks that present our family in the ugliest possible light. Supplying the fund with adequate food and medicine is clearly impossible. My efforts here are futile. 
Why? Going door to door and seizing people's stockpiles of medicine and food? Insanity. They won't hand it over, of course. They barely have anything left. How did this happen? No one knows why the train is almost a month late. We've maintained regular shipments of meat and skins. So where's our pay? Where's the regular supply train? We're on the brink of starvation. There are no stocks left. Which means everyone's on their own now, and I'll have to kneel in front of my father and take responsibility for this fiasco. So, I think this is the point where prices of food start to skyrocket. As if it wasn't already expensive enough. Got it. Early bird gets the worm. This is our kind of surgery. <clears throat> Cutting to the bone. Sewing together guts and soul. Ew. Oh yeah, so that's a KH, so their name would be Stach Ruben. Well, I guess the sentimental bout with old friends is cancelled. Time to work. Is it an either-or thing for you? Work doesn't have to interfere with friendship. I know what you're thinking. You want to look for the murderer? Avenge your father? Forget it. Let me handle it. I'll do it better than you. Father would want you to work, not seek vengeance. Work in his stead. I know better than you what father would want. You're no longer a surgeon. You're a pharmacist. I'm better at dissecting people. In all senses, Barach. But to create an infusion like Isidore did? That requires your intuition. Your hands. It gives me no pleasure to admit all this, but it's true. Okay. I'll do whatever duties uh, duty requires of me. Got it? So an act and you reap a habit. So a habit and you reap a character. So a character and you reap a destiny. Barach, the situation is regretful. I just didn't have time to warn you. <sighs> whatever. I understand. Forget it. Well. Let's get down to business. We have three doctors in town. Uh, four if we count the deranged girl who claims to have a healing touch. Rubbish, of course. But she has a lot of energy and she knows a thing or two, so it won't hurt to let her work. And Barach, allow me to be frank. Shoot. Where did you graduate? What are your qualifications? Do you have a degree? I'm a surgeon and a damn good one. Barach, I want you to become my aide. Our primary goal is developing a vaccine. You're local and enterprising. I need your help. I'm going to be a bit of a dick. They're not being a dick right now, but they've been a dick in the past. So, you know, let's keep it going. <laughs> A vaccine? We wouldn't finish that until after the whole town is extinct. But what an amazing breakthrough for your resume, right? Other towns like this one exist, you know. If this disease is half as lethal as the outbreak five years ago, this place is doomed. Other people can still be saved. Or perhaps you have better suggestions? Just say it. What do you want from me? I will make the vaccine, but I can't do it without you. All you need to do is be at hand and do as I say. I will take full responsibility for the situation. Yeah, of course. They're a dickhead. I don't like them, but that's irrelevant right now. This is an emergency and we need to work. Perhaps I'll drop by. If I have the time. I think that's... Almost it. Oh, 
Hey, Georgie. Everything is connected. Woven together, it forms a pattern in the great design. A human weaver who makes new connections cannot be ended by death. It's spreading across Earth, the lower town, between the gullet and the abattoir. What does that mean for me? Weird question, but people tell me useful things when I say that, so... Two architects live in Earth, Andre and Peter Stamaton, both geniuses, each in his own way. Please, take them into your care. You could let the whole town die, but these two must survive. Why? Because you won't find mines like theirs anywhere else on the whole continent. We hunted them for much too long. My brother Simon collected many brilliant specimens in this town, you know. It is an ark. Where do they live? Peter lives in a loft in the Tanners. Andre, though, rarely leaves the broken heart, his pub below the factory. I put my hopes on you, Doctor. Pay them a visit as soon as you can. I'll take a look. So where is it? Peter Stamaton lives there. Okay. Oh, right, and the town's calling us over there. It is about 6 p.m. And we have a lot to do. <laughs> children's Dash, Children's Dash, Andre Stamaton. Everything is connected. Woven together, it forms a pattern in the great design. What was that? An outbreak of an odd disease turned everything upside down. I wonder what lies ahead. Tomorrow will be very different from what I expected. Okay, they said it's around the gullet? Wasn't it? I mean, it's around our house, right? It's spreading from here. The Skinners, the hindquarters. Oh, is it not actually... I think it's an alternative name that Georgi gave me. It's not like what's marked on the map. But anyway, it's spreading around here. <clears throat> hmm. What do I have on my to-do list? At the moment, just the upgrade inventory thing, so I'm still looking for that freaking cloth thing. I need it really bad. I wonder if it's worth buying food right now. Maybe the price hasn't gone up. Um, how am I doing on hunger? Pretty high. I have no food on me. Yeah, let's go see if I can buy groceries. Hopefully the grocers will be a little bit slow to react. Hi? What are you all doing here? Busy body. It's all because of the damned war. We're losing it. The train that came in June was the last. I just know it. We're not seeing another one. It's not like we're on an island in the middle of the ocean. That's exactly how it is. Perhaps. We've been cut off from the world, all alone. Food supplies are dwindling. I'm not even talking about medicine. Where are we to get more? And now our only competent doctor is gone. This winter will be the end of our town. We have cows and we have bulls, not to mention stores of meat in the warehouses. I hope you're right. But the coming winter will be harsh, mark my words. In times like these, it becomes apparent just how childish we are. So dependent on that umbilical cord, on the noble families. Without them, we're done for. Our town can't stand on its own. It can feed others, but can't support itself. There's always room for change. Let the child crawl, and after a couple of head bumps, it will be running around. <laughs> Uh, 
How are we looking? 580 for Pemmican. I'm trying to see if the prices are inflated. I don't think so. Seems about normal. I should probably spend like all of my money on food, honestly. Pemmican's a good buy. Restores a decent amount of hunger and it's very compact. I almost want to save money for that like cloth thing that I'm looking for because I assume a clothing store somewhere will have it, but <clears throat> but let's just buy food because I know I need that. I'm not drinking milk. Walnuts are good for trading with the kids. Maybe I should buy that. I don't have any nuts on me right now. Yeah, they're pretty freaking cheap. Okay, well, maybe I won't spend, like, all my money on food, but I'll get a good amount. Hmm. The antibiotics don't sell for that much. 150 each, 190 for bandages, 50 for a chisel. Scalpel's the thing worth the most, but I'm obviously keeping that. And then there's a knife. I should repair this knife. Yeah, someone made a good suggestion that it probably doesn't cost very much to repair stuff. I mean, what does it usually take? Like a grindstone and, I don't know, a couple other things? But it can be pretty cheap to repair stuff. But the increase in the value when you go to sell it can be pretty substantial. So it might be worth fixing stuff just for the sake of selling it for a higher price. Ooh, that's a really good hunger reduction. Do I want to eat the pemmican? Um, I'll wait a little bit. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, the child stash is down there, so I should probably go there. Because I'm super close to it. Um, is there really not a boat over here? I was thinking right after this I could go to this boat, but there's no point. There's no boat around Peter Stamaton's place. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's fine. I'll just run. buy a lemon for a bandage. Lowers my exhaustion. And how am I doing on exhaustion? Eh, it's pretty high. Okay, yeah. That really doesn't do much, does it? <laughs> What's the best way there? This way, I think. Ooh, clothing store. Wait, it's already open? Did I already visit this one? Guess I probably did. Why does the clothing store sell matches? Wait. The map shows an opening? Yes, good. Whew. Mother 
Dobra. Dusty note, shotgun ammo. <laughs> Found the last walnut hidden in the tadpole yard. Meet you there. Just took a picture of that in case it's important. Oh, oh, it actually got marked. Kids are doing something here. It's very close. All right, I'll head over there in a second. Put this back. Should I do a trade? Maybe like, um... Walnuts are worth a lot, right? Here's some walnuts for a fishing hook. That's probably over trading, but, um, hey, I want to be a good player, you know? I don't think there's a convenient way out of here. Wait, there's a lot of these. There's more of these impossible structures than I thought. I thought there was this one and that one, but here's a pretty damn hard to access third one. And I think this over here might be one too. I should go up this one if I can. Oh, I can't. What is that hanging there? Oh no, I can't. Meow. Man, it's so moody up here seeing the town from this height. And the fog, or I mean, it's not really fog, it's a haze. Let's go. Oh yeah, that ring right here. Can't do anything with it though. really hard to get back here. There's a break in the wall there, but then from there... Uh, I think the best way is just to go back the way I came. Toast for five, nothing to trade. Looks like I can, go, I can go this way and then kind of just shoot straight through a bunch of yards to get to the kids. Soap. No thanks. Oh, yeah, this is really close to the theater.
Immunity boosters. Oh, I can almost trade a walnut for that, but I can't. Damn, a lot of kids here. Morphine for 10. No thanks. 8 for the immunity boosters, but they take fishing hooks and needles. Eh. Smoked fish? I would love that. Hmm. Hmm. That's 7. Two needles plus a fishing hook for smoked fish. That's probably worth it. Yeah. Oh, I can get an egg for for some walnuts. So what are y'all up to? Do you have fresh nuts? We can trade them for rare ones. I just spent some. <laughs> um. Hungry? Are you nuts? You can't eat nuts. They're alive. Alive? Not all of them, of course. Just the ones that caught someone. A memory, you know, of a dead person. Sometimes they tell interesting things. Like ours, they do. You can't imagine how long it took us to get our hands on these. Why barter them away, then? You're so dense. We've already heard all these walnuts and chestnuts have to say. So now we can barter them away. The new is always more interesting. Damn, I want to trade for these. Uh, but I don't think I have any nuts, though. What do they have to say? They told us that we can find schmouters in this very yard. We call it the powder bag. Boca and Tarochka used to live here. They were the Schmouter makers. This seems kind of important. I'm gonna write this down. There, I marked the location on this little postage stamp map and took a screenshot of what the kids said. Schmouters? They're like powders. Very valuable. We'll later trade them for needles or a knife. Can I have one, or, or see one, at least. How about we play hide-and-seek? We'll look for powders, and you'll look for us. Well, alright. You're it. Turn around so that you don't see us, and count to five. Then seek. Got it, but no cheating. One. Two, three, four, five. What? Found you? Kid? One, two, three, four, five. Huh? Okay. Maybe I'll just... Go around collecting stuff for a second and then they'll just be gone? I don't... What? Am I missing something? Are they just fucking with me? Are they just fucking with me? Fucking kids. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> One last check. You, they still there? They're still there, okay. Right, I got more important things to do. <laughs> Where to now? What's the most important thing to do? Because it's getting kind of late. Well, I definitely, definitely need to check up on the Stamatons. That's very important because they're close to the site of the infection. I mean, I might as well just start going over this direction, right? Like, stash and then go across here to Andre Stamaton up here. Just kind of do that in a line. <laughs> 